Hey guys, welcome back and today we'll be looking at how to solve the remote duplicates from sorted array problem. So the problem statement goes like this. Given a sorted array nums, remove the duplicates in place such that each element appears only once and returns the new length. And they have also said that do not allocate extra space for another array. You must do this by modifying the input array in place with big of one extra memory. Uh, basically what they are telling is uh, you are not allowed to use another array uh, for example a temporary array or for that matter another data structure which occupies memory right for example like dictionaries or stuff so you just have to modify the input array in such a way that there are only distinct unique elements from the beginning uh, so consider this example nums is equal to 112 uh, we should return the length of 2 I mean length of the unique numbers which is two unique elements say for example in this uh, we have two distinct unique elements the, they are one and two uh, the other one is duplicate so we have to remove that and uh, we need not explicitly remove that what they mean is uh, by this hint over here it does not matter what you leave beyond the return length uh, so if we return two as the length uh, the first two elements if we have the unique elements present and later on whatever is present uh, in the later indices will not be considered this is another example over here so in this uh, we have two zeros and three ones two twos two threes and one four so the number of unique uh, elements would be zero one two one two three four five there are five uh, unique elements which are 0 1 2 3 and 4 right so uh, if we can return the length as 5 and if we can store those five unique elements in these positions uh, in 0 1 2 3 and 4 these five positions if we can store them and our work is done over there so basically what we'll be doing is we will be comparing two elements at a time and whenever we get a unique element we just bring that to the initial position say for example 0 0 will be compared uh, they are the same so we don't do anything and 0 1 will be compared over here 1 and 0 so we just encountered a new number right which is unique so we bring 1 to the position 1 if we consider 0 as the initial position and we keep on doing that uh, it will be more clear when we uh, do the solution a programmatic way so let's get started uh, in the beginning we'll just you know get the length of the array which is nothing but nums the array is nums and we get it and we will store it in a variable called as n and so we, we need a pointer to track our positions of the unique elements which we insert right so uh, let's just give it as temp and this will be initially one okay why is this one because the zeroth element which is there we are not going to touch it because that is the first unique element right so we'll be starting from the first position and note that i'm considering zero as the first index over here so one will be the second second index over here so that we'll be storing the next unique element from one and okay to compare two elements of a list i will be using this small code snippet which is very interesting you can do it by taking you know two pointers and a normal way or python provides a simple and you know a better cleaner way to do it so what i'll be doing is uh, we can use the zip function and we can uh, do the slice operation on this array so we can basically take make two arrays out of it uh, we are not exactly storing it we are just you know slicing it so one will be this whole array from starting to ending and the other one will be sliced from the first position so we'll be taking this as the second array starting from the first position we leave the zeroth element and the other one would be the whole array the whole array and another temporary array which is which we are not storing so that uh, you know it won't take much memory we're just slicing it off uh, so that we can iterate uh, and get two elements and the second array would start from the first index okay so we we now have two elements 
and we compare the we compare those we compare it in such a way that if they are not equal uh, if they are not equal which means that uh, we have encountered a new what do we call that element right so new element which is unique new unique element and we just add it to our temporary position so um, we are alt uh, please note that we are altering the input array and we are not creating a new array uh, nums is the input array and nums the position temp the position temp at nums would be b now so this new unique element okay my but it should be not equals so if they are not equal this b the new unique element would go and sit in the temp position of numbers which is nothing but one right so in the beginning it will be pointing to this position so zero will be replaced by one which is a unique which is a unique element which we have encountered so as soon as we do that we increment temp uh, so that it will be pointing to the next position which is two and we will be replacing one with two in the next iteration okay so this is comparing and we are putting it over here so basically we are, we will be returning the temp value right uh, no need to take another count variable because temp temp will have the what do we say the last index where the unique elements would be stored so temp would, will start from one and then it will keep on incrementing until we add all the unique items and the result would be stored in temp uh, the result is nothing but the length of the, the length which is nothing but the number of unique elements let's run this and see uh, invalid syntax for nums is okay i forgot the in uh, when we are using i mean i was supposed to use for each so it the in keyword was missing hopefully this will run this time yep it ran and we got the expected output for this well let's submit and see if it runs for all the rest cases yep it ran for all the rest cases and we got a runtime of 84 millisecond and this varies sometimes i don't know uh, it's it's also dependent on the compiler which runs in the backend and we get different you know there is a small variation in the runtime but we'll get around 80 to 90 millisecond runtime and it is 75 percent faster than the other submissions and 15 mb it has used the memory uh, 15 mb of memory and which is almost you know it says less than 70 percent other submissions so this was it for our remote duplicate problem i mean in a sorted array so this is a pretty straightforward solution and you can also use instead of this zip uh, method for iterating you can also use our normal you know keeping two pointers i and j and you can iterate on that j will be pointing to the next element and i will be pointing to the previous element and you can keep a for loop until you know both i and j are within the limits of the array size but this is a more cleaner way and it looks good so that's it for this video see you in the next one